Hey guys, it's Mr. J here. I'm reading chapter 8 called Swoopin'. The children ran. They ran everywhere, I tell you. They ran to and fro and up and down and back and forth and here and there. Also, Roger ran sideways and Lenny ran in a circle. I watched them very fascinated. Some of those children were tackling and scuffling. Sheldon went through a shrub. That's when Lucille's daddy blew his whistle again. Tweet, 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 tweet. Everyone come back here right now, he shouted real mad. Every, but then everyone came back. Sheldon had a stick in his ear. He sputtered and stuttered and pointed at May. She pushed me. She pushed me. May pushed me right through a bush. Well, May stomped her feet. No, I did not, Sheldon. I did not push you. You pushed yourself, she said. She turned and she looked at the daddy. It was the craziest thing you'd ever saw, she said. He shoved himself right through that shrub. The daddy just stood there for a real long time. Then he walked to a picnic bench, and he sat down real slow. And he hit himself on the head. I went over and tapped on him. I would just like to point out that the bunny did not run. The bunny was the only one who walked. May overheard me. That's because bunnies can't run or the bunny falls down, she called out. The bunny should not get credit for that. The daddy hit himself in the head again, and I walked back to Herbert. He looked kind of worried. I think the daddy's coming unglued, he said. Unglued means crazy. I nodded. Yep, the daddy's going to need a backup, I believe. Backup is the grown-up word for the police might need to come, possibly. And guess what? Me and Herb were not the only ones thinking that either. Because just then, Lucille's Nana hollered out real loud. Enough, she hollered. I have had enough of this nonsense with you children. Then she cupped her hands around her mouth and she shouted out brand new rules. It was called, if there's any more running or fighting, she's going to call the cops. Well, all the children did a loud gulp. I looked at Herbert. That new rule seems a little bit harsh, I said. Only guess what else? The new rule worked, I think. Because pretty soon the Nana started to egg hunt again. And this time, nobody ran at all. No one even walked, hardly. Instead... We all behaved like little ladies and gentlemen, and we hunted for eggs very polite. May stuck to Sheldon like glue. I tried to stick to him too, but my giant feet, bunny feet, couldn't keep up that good. And May kept on grouching. You're not going to get the golden egg before I do, Sheldon. Even if you know where it is, I'll still beat you, she said. I'm all over you like flies on egg salad. Sheldon rolled his, rolled his eyes. I don't know where the golden egg is, May. He said, I've already told you that I don't know anything at all. I cut my mitts around my mouth. I believe you, Sheldon. I believe you don't know anything at all, I shouted. I've never thought you've known anything at all, ever. And after that, I hurried to catch up to him, because I definitely thought he knew something, of course. Sheldon turned to wait for me. Then all of a sudden, he glanced down to the ground, and he did a loud gasp. <gasps> I see one. I see one. I see one, he shouted. May. And May and I turned to look. There was a bright green egg right under the bushes. Sheldon clapped and laughed, and he hurried over to pick it up, but whoosh, swoop, scoop. May ducked underneath him speedy fast, and she picked it up instead. I got it, I got it, I got it, she screamed. Then she put the egg in her basket and danced all around. Well, Sheldon's face got sputtery mad, but before he could yell at her, he did another gasp. I see one, I see one, I see one, he shouted even louder than before. Then he clapped his hands real happy and laughed, and he hurried over to pick it up. But whoosh, swoop, scoop, May beat him to it again. So that's May going after Sheldon's eggs. And look at Jeannie B. She's looking at him like, that's not right. I don't like that, May. Two, two, I have two, she hollered. She jumped in the air and kicked her feet. I'm swooped, I, I'm a swooper, I swoop, she said. She ran back to Sheldon and leaned in his face. I knew I would beat you at this game, she said. I have two eggs and you don't. And Jeannie B. happy. But then she leaned her head into our baskets. Hmm, let me count. You've got zero. Ha, 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 You have zero and I have two. Two to zero. Two to zippity zip zero. Well, Sheldon looked at me real upset and I frowned my eyes at him. Here's a helpful hint, Sheldon. Stop shouting the words, I see one. Sheldon pointed at his magic shirt. But I don't get it, Jeannie B. He said, my grandpa said that the egg is with me. So why isn't this magic shirt working? I looked closer at the egg dribble. Maybe it's not lucky, I said. Maybe it's just dirty. Sheldon slumped his shoulders. Then he reached his finger down and he flicked off the piece of egg. 
Only way do you hear this. Just as he flicked the egg off, his eyes got big and wide again. This time, I hurried over and I covered his mouth with my hand. But Sheldon shouted right through my palm at, I see one, I see one, I see one, he shouted. But before he could even move his feet, whoosh, swoop, swoop, May grabbed egg number three. She twirled in a happy circle around us. Three to zero, three to zero, it's three to zero, ha, 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 ha. Then Sheldon stood real still. Then very slowly, he put down his basket and he stretched out the sides of his mouth with his fingers like, uh, and he stuck out his tongue at May. I think that was called for, I believe. After that, he snatched his basket up and he tried to run away from May, but too bad for Sheldon because May stayed right exactly on his heels. They were walking way too fast for me to keep up. So I just stopped and watched them go. Then I did a big sigh and I walked over to a tree stump and I sat down very glum. I hate being this dumb bunny, I said, because my feet are too big, my legs are too slow, and my paw mitts are way too clumsy. I slumped my shoulders and looked in the empty basket, and I did another sigh, because let's face it, the bunny was a rotten egg. <laughs>